I've started in the dashboard view for an investigator. It's showing my active cases and the activities that I have planned to support them. I'm now looking at the arrests across the department. I have a geographic view, arrests by county, but I can easily look at whatever data I think is important. Let's look at who entered these arrests into the system. Restricting access is vital, and now I'll change my dashboard view to look at the security management. As an administrator, I can take every task and decide who has the right to perform it, who can enter data for a case, who can review it, and I can do this by role, any officer can see the arrest record, or by person, only Steve Winter can enter updates for a case. Let's go back to my cases, and we'll see how we connect all aspects of an investigation. These are the current investigations for the department, and I'll open up one of mine, the drug buy assault at the top. We can see the case basics in the header, what it is, and who owns it. Now we get into more details of the case, location of the case, if it's gone to the grand jury or not, and the referral. For referral, we can note, for example, if this is a case that came through the Port of Long Beach Security Division or, as in this case, the Long Beach Harbour Patrol. We confirm where the physical documentation for the case is stored and whether this investigation is part of a local or organised crime task force. We collect intelligence on the case, including witness statements. In this case, we have an unsubstantiated witness report on the assault. I've just interviewed another witness to the assault, who has confirmed the first witness's account, and I can change it from indeterminate to confirmed. In the notes area, the investigator can record their work on the case. Below, you can see that there is a photo attached to the case. It's a security camera shot of the assault after it's spilled out into the street. After looking at this case file, you can see, on the left, the other functions related to it. We can see the victim, but also record suspects, witnesses, informants, or subjects early in an investigation. You can see the other aspects of the case along the left-hand side, narratives, arrests and charges, and external agents and agencies. But I want to show you one final capability, evidence management. We're now going to look at the evidence connected to this case. Here's general information on who collected the evidence and where it's currently stored. At the bottom, under evidence, I can see the barcode associated with a specific piece of evidence. We can see that this is a weapon, a kitchen knife made by Vustov. There is also room for information like specific information for seized drugs. Let's look at a photo of the knife. We've gone from a dashboard with metrics across all of the department's investigations into the details of one investigation, and all the way down to a photo of a specific piece of evidence, all inside the same solution and without any special user skills. For more information on the investigation management system for Dynamics CRM, contact us here at Planet Technologies.